You be a young boy, please guilty to federal weapons charges. Look, he looking at five to ten. It could have been a lot worse. Look, I'm looking at this like a win. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to do a little time, but mm, we ain't looking at the 10, bro. We're looking at closer to five with some time served, and this case has been moved to Utah. So, you know, it should be a little light, you know what I mean, a little light. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to have to do some time. Him and Quando Rondo, Quando looking at three to five. Uh, could have been a lot worse. I know a lot of people say, uh, and so what? He has the most money in the world. It's still 10 years of his young life. Bro, when you sign up for this, you know what you're getting yourself into and you know what come with it. Save your opinion. Save all that drama for your damn mama, bro. We don't want to hear it. YB, congratulations, dude. 10 ain't shit. Lil Dirk chose Islam over Oblock. Look, look, look. He say he's a Muslim. He's not a gangbanger. He can't do both. He's not living in duality. Look, bro, you seen this coming. This is nothing about the Rico. This is about a young man that wanted to change his life, and he did. Yeah, the, the kid that did, bro, Muslim, Islam, look, Christianity, whatever your religion is that changed your life, bro, we all for it. And the boy got like a $100,000 uh, piece you know what I mean? For his little religion, for his faith. They were dragging him for that. But how you spend your money to show your 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 devoutness, you know what I mean? That's you, bro. So shout out to Lil Dirk for actually changing his life. Drop it in the comments if you're for Lil Dirk. But if you got some other shit to say, bro, leave it there, man. We don't even want to hear it. Not me. I'm not the one. Do your homework. Teen rapper Baby K sentenced to 25 years in prison. This is for a 2023 attempted murder in a Prince George County school bus. Yeah, he was 14 at the time. Him and his friends held down uh, his opposition and began to fire shots at him. Luckily, the pistol did not go off, bro. Uh, yeah, God was with that young man that day. You know what I mean? But, oh yeah, he, he, doing, he in trouble over this, bro. Just because the gun don't go off and it don't go how you plan, yeah, it's in trouble, bro. And you got some shit to face now. And so at 16, he facing 25 years in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not facing, uh, convicted of, I believe. Yeah, yeah, he was sentenced. So, bro, what are y'all doing, man? Holding people down on school buses, man. Y'all are a nuisance and a menace to society, but that's what y'all want, so go right in that motherfucker if that's what you want. Post Malone dragged for being a culture vulture. Early in his career, look, he said he was dragged. They didn't, he didn't know why they thought he was being a culture vulture. Was it the cornrows or him being White Allen Iverson? Look, everybody thought Post Malone was black, uh, only for him to switch up on fans and go straight to country. Look, I like Post Malone, you know what I mean? But I got to admit, he's a totally different dude than he was when he came out. He even had grills, bro. So that ain't even Post Malone nature. You, he wouldn't do no shit like that. Post Malone, the type of motherfucker that smoke 60 to 100 cigarettes a day, uh, and that's going to be Marlboro Reds. He going to drink a fruit, few brews. He going to hit that studio. He going to pass out by the end of the night, and he going to gorge on food you know what i mean but other than that like yeah, i don't take him as like no dude that's trying to be black or nothing like this i don't think it's that he just used what he had to get ahead trick daddy dragged for gorilla con trick daddy dragged for glorilla comments look uh they say he creeping on glorilla uh, i don't know how y'all how old y'all think trick daddy is or what you think trick daddy do but i'm gonna tell you right now you don't know Nan, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, bro, she was in all white in the bathroom. He liked the picture, bro. So, you know, he put it on his story to say, uh, Glorilla, I'm really enjoying that bathroom. Look, it might have been cheesy, but creepy? Come on, bro. Uh, he's old enough to be your grand and grandbaby. Like, it, this has to be old women saying that, that want a little piece of trick. But... Look, Trick Daddy is Trick Daddy, bro, and he always been Trick Daddy. So, 
like I said, bro, if you think this is creepy, that that's creepy because he won't go realer, man, you don't know. Man, bro, yeah, yeah, I seen Stranger Things, you know what I mean? Oh, Murder 55 survived the attack on Fulio. Or should we call it the assassination attempt? Oh, no, they assassinated Fulio. But Oh, Murder 55, he was in the car with Fulio. This is just a little kid, bro. Little dude, he ain't no little kid. He a little dude, bro. But look, they shot this man 11 times. Eight times in the arm, and he was grazed. Three times in the head. He was the driver, bro. Didn't know what was going on. They was just looking for a hotel. Wasn't really out there on the shit, but when the shit starts, it ain't about, you know, you just don't want to get involved in it. But he did everything he can, bro. Everything he can. Uh, people say he should have drove this way, should have drove that way. Man, when them bullets get to ringing out like that, bro, uh, you do what you can, bro. That's all you can do. But yeah, old Murder 5-5 five, five survived, bro. Uh, I ain't heard the music yet. Uh, if you want to, go check him out. Follow old Murder 5-5. Five, five. Uh, yeah, man, shout out to that young man for even surviving, bro. 11 shots. Ryan Garcia expelled by the WBC after racial rant. Look, he went on about his disdain for blacks. You know what I mean? Last week it was gays. Last week it was... Look, this dude, I don't know what's going on with him, bro. He had a promise in Korea, man. He just kept going. You know what I mean? He just keep going. I don't, he just want to be canceled so bad. Somebody go, bro, get this man some mental help. You know what I mean? Then he starts saying uh, he wish he could dig George up, basically, and, and do it all over again. Kill him again. You know what I mean? George Floyd. It, look, I don't know if this man, like, one of the new age comedians, he trying to be funny. I don't know what's wrong with Ryan Garcia. Look, he tried to apologize, but they don't want to hear, man. They don't want nothing to do with Ryan. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ryan is the new Ye. Ye good now. Yeah, Ryan Garcia is the new Kanye, man. Drop it in the comments, bro. What's going on with Ryan Garcia? That's your homeboy, bro. Go get your man. Big U throwing shots at Black Sam. Look, uh, he's saying if it's smoke, it's smoke. If it's up, it's up. Uh, he's saying he, Black Sam got survivor's remorse because he didn't save his brother. He wasn't in, in the marathon store with the hoodie and the pistol that day. Why wasn't he there? Well, look, Black Sam was at work, bro. They got different businesses. He did the night shift. He explained that. He would sleep on his grandmother's floor. If you don't know, after it happened, Black Sam showed up within minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, this coming from his spokesperson, some dude named Deuce Hams. He talking for some Pyro dude talking for Big U, which is cheesy, bro. You got something to say? Say it yourself, man. Don't send nobody else to do your dirty work, bro. Yeah, nah, it's bad business, bro. That's diabolical. Now he's saying uh, Nip knew what it was. If you, if y'all knew it was up, it was up. And it's all it's smoke, man. He want all the smoke, man. Big you, oh man. Come on, bro. This one nasty. This one nasty work, man. This one nasty work. Drop it in the comments, man. What you think about this whole black you and Big Sam business? Look, Jay-Z spotted wearing a $340,000 watch at the Fanatics Fest, which to me, it ain't no surprise, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't know this man's net worth is over $5 billion. I repeat, over $5 billion. Uh, he went viral a couple months ago because his, his homeboy, his cousin asked for like 3300 to start something, and, you know, Jigga said no. You know what I mean? He don't just give out money like that. Uh, I don't know if he got $5 million liquid, you know what I mean? But he's worth, five, I mean, $5 billion liquid, but he's worth $5 billion, bro. So to wear the watch, I'm not surprised. I'm more surprised to see Jigga dress dying. Yeah, he had the Tim's on, uh, the big, you know, the whole New York fashion, man. Jay-Z was just kicking it, bro. This shows you that the man really kind of, like, unbothered about all the did his shit and he ain't worried about being dragged in that shit. I don't believe. Drop it in the comments what you think, man. But if you're going to slam the jigger, this ain't the page for that, man. You know what I mean? For real, this ain't the page for that. If you're going to, uh, oh, you look like, look, dude, this ain't the page for that. But I respect your opinion, man. Drop it in the comments. Scars from the playground. 
D.L. Hughley admits he was wrong about Kamala Harris. Look, everybody thinks she locked up 1,500 black people over weed-related offenses. That's not true, bro. 55 people was arrested and predominantly wasn't even black. You know what I mean? And this is for cases that they would still get right now while it's legal. 55 people, bro. Look, uh... I respect D.L. Hughley. I know a lot of people probably don't. Y'all going to come at D.L. in the comments most likely. This is how y'all are, bro. But D.L. has always been real. You know what I mean? And he admitted he was wrong, bro. So everything they dragging her for because she was doing her little job as a prosecutor, man. A prosecutor prosecutes, bro. Drop it in the comments. But no slander, no Kamala Harris slander will be tolerated, bro. Yeah, yeah, don't get under that shit with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you're talking about your, your next president. Let's just be honest, man. Scars from the playground. Shannon Sharp made over $6 million from Club Shay Shay to this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know, the, he been going, but the Cat Williams interview really set him off, bro. Yeah, it, it, it took him to 60 million views. Not everything he put on that station is viral. He's made more from talking than he ever made from football. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's being a Hall of Famer. That's losing hips and all type of shit to the game. He made more talking and podcasting. Man, drop it in the comments what you think about Shannon Short, bro. He get a lot of heat because they say he's zesty, he this, he that. But, like, bro, who really cares? Why is somebody business always yours, you know what I mean, when it comes to that personal shit? Now, if it's entertainment purposes, I'm all for it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to put it out there. What is that about? You know what I mean? But on your personal life, bro, on who you're sleeping with, who cares, man? Look, Dane Dash giving away a Rockefeller chain. Yeah, yeah, this is a new incentive. If you buy his shares at this reasonable doubt, which you're going to be buying not just copyrights, but you're going to be buying a piece of the rock. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, until 2031, because Jigga say he getting his shit back. But if you buy this right now, bro, you're going to get you an authentic Rockefeller chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One from back in the day. Even Jay-Z might have wore this one. You know what I mean? Now, uh, this going to cost you, bro. This piece of reasonable doubt is worth like 1.5 mil. You know what I mean? So it's going to cost you. But... It come with a chain, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you want to be rocked up, you want you want to feel like that from back in the day, go ahead and buy that chain, man. Drop it in the comments, bro. If you got it or you're spinning. But if you don't got it, I don't even think you should even be talking about it, bro. But if you got it, it's no question, bro. Go on and cop that, man. You might have it longer than you think. Look, Marlon Wayne's not relevant in 2024. Look, a lot of people going ham in the comments uh, he wanted 40k from Vlad. No, he wanted what Boosie was getting, and it ain't gonna happen because he's not that interesting. We don't know, want to know. Oh, he was in L.A. when 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 Pi, when he was out there when Pi got killed. He was in in Vegas when Pi got killed. He was in L.A. when Big. Who cares, bro? We heard his stories before. He's not relevant today. Why? Because he gave up on his career when he did that white chick shit, and he he left. He, he evaded, you know what I mean? He wouldn't go find himself. Now he's just trying to get back into comedy. So for your, you that don't know Marlon Wayans, bro, we love Marlon. We'll always love Marlon. Bro, how about you go give some of that love to your family? Because it's a lot of broken homes. And the spent time you spend texting me under these comments, bro, you could be spent giving that love to either a woman, a child, or just to this beautiful earth, bro. So go do something with yourself and and, and, and and play with your bitch. Do not play with me, man. You know what I mean? Who you think I am, bro? Really? Who do you think I am, man? Drop it in the comments who you think I am, and you might get lucky, and I might drop it in the comments and reply and tell you who I'm not. You did, but do, come on, man. Scars from the playground. Don't play with the kid. You did. Look, I got the hair down a day, no hat. You know what I mean? Scars from the playground. If you ain't heard my, my new EP, my newest EP, The Feelings of the Father, go check that out. Yeah, I talk about a whole lot of people, but it's because I go a whole lot harder. Yeah, I go a whole lot harder, and I'm a whole lot smarter. Go check out 
that, the feelings of the father. Man, this is Scars from the Playground, bro. That's me. A lot of people say, man, who is this guy? He's zesty. He looks like Lil Jon. He looks like Wayne. He mixed with Cam Newton, uh, the father of Brick Baby. Bro, I, uh, Chris Bosh. Look, I heard it all. I'm 6'4", 210. Before you do all the disrespectful shit in the comments, bro, just imagine me meeting you and, and what would happen if you was to say anything disrespectful to somebody like me. Yeah, yeah, bro, I just be doing this. You know what I mean? I just do this. This is the segment where I tell you about me. Scars from the Playground, bro. The newest EP, The Feelings of the Father. The one right before that was, mm, that was hard too. You know, The Outsiders. Go check out all the music, bro, on all streaming platforms. Um, hit up the YouTube. I recently went through a name change. I'm formerly Chris Magic, but I go by Scars from the Playground now. Why? Because sometimes you just switch it up, bro, and you say, fuck everything that came with the other name. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can have the name, but you can't have the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not for me. Not for me. But yeah, I give you a little knowledge. I drop a few jewels. I'm here and there. Uh, I'm everywhere. But peace, bro. Do you, be you, and, and, and stay true. Other than that, man, keep watching the news. You dig? Like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody. Run, tell that. Uh, if you got a newspaper broadcast, type scars from the playground in it. Uh, I'm looking for managers, bro. I'm looking for everything that come with the game, and I'm not just talking about hip-hop, bro. If you got something for me, man, DM me. Get at me. And let's talk some business, bro. Until the end, look, until the end, peace. Scars from the playground. If they throw it, I'ma catch it to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be a